uh, yesterday when we were at uh, Kibbutz Be'eri, um, our guide said something that stuck with me. He was speaking about the crisis of decision. When um, he received Tzav Shmone, which is the call up to war, and he was supposed to go into Maglan, which is a um, special forces unit. And at the same time, he had a call from his mother and she was talking about the terrorists outside um, their building and that decision. And he said, I wish you never have to make a decision like that. Do I have to run down there, help my mom or register uh, with my unit? And then I was reminded of another woman a few years ago when uh, a certain rocket alarm, Tseva Adom, came in, did she take the baby run down to the bomb shelter or did she bring in her four-year-old from the garden? And that little boy, I think his name was Daniel, was killed. Or Katya, who just uh, shared her testimony, there's terrorists in her house, she cannot move from the place where she is to her son. Uh, down the passage, or a soldier fighting and the commander says, shoot, but there's children. And, and the next moment, a terrorist launches RPG from behind them. Those crises, and I see Israel making these very, very difficult decisions in their government, in their military, even parents. And I'm thinking, you know, what about us in the nations? We are really in the valley of decision. And in time forward, every country, every church, and I think every individual is going to have to make up their mind and choose a position regarding Israel. So what are we going to do at that moment?